So we're all holding our breath to keep the turbulence down. <laughs> okay, we're at uh, 4.31.45. Okay, soon. Just waiting here. Come on, ejecta. <laughs> maximum 90 seconds after the impact and uh, continue on to 120 seconds after. Okay, we're uh, coming up on 90. Four thirty-two twenty-five. Well, I'm not seeing a plume. I'm not seeing a plume either. You got something in there? Then we can pan the telescope a little bit to move the image to the left a little bit. That's, yep. Yeah. Well, I said that uh, we might be able to see the, uh, the plume with a 12-inch telescope. We've got a 36-inch telescope that gives us about, ah, that gives us about, that looks like it is changing. Okay, so, so on the right-hand side of the screen, we have the wrong dark area, possibly. Uh -huh. Let's pan that a little bit more. The, uh, the initial uh, time for a replay. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have instant replay. And at 34, 35 minutes, we have a, a minute to go until the shepherding spacecraft hits as well. It's 4.34. Not sure okay. if we're... So we're just we're we're waiting for a bated breath, trying to find our, uh, our plume in the sunlight. Well, the, the, NASA, the, the shepherding spacecraft has the best view of all. It's following on from straight above, flying through the plume on its way to its rendezvous with the lunar surface at 5,000 miles an hour. Now NASA is recording the images. So the shepherd should have uh, hit by now. It's 435. Right now. 435 in a little bit. In the James Lick Observatory, down the other end, they have the Nickel Telescope. And they have a high-speed video camera on that as well, uh, also observing and seeing if they can find the plume. So we'll go interview them later and see if they saw this with their, uh, with their camera. That's about the same size as this one. It's about a one-meter diameter telescope. Make it, more, make it more obvious if we run it right. in fast motion. Well, I didn't see an impact, Ron. <laughs> I'm not sure I saw an impact either. So, uh, uh, has something on her, her, her phone. Let's put it back on the, on the uh, telescope view. There we go. That gives me a chance to go over and see what Dia is seeing. No, no, no. 
Actually, I'm just I'm looking. Oh, Satya, it's Robin. Excuse me. So uh, we're we're checking in. So the plume should be gone by now. Well, actually, yeah, the plume should plume should certainly have passed its maximum now, and uh, and be dissipating. So we we hope that the uh, shepherding spacecraft managed to catch an image from above, and. Uh, Let's uh, move the in let's move it a little bit again, a little bit to the left on the our monitor. There we go. Yep. I'm just seeing if that other area has changed at all. So here we are. We're, we're watching our our monitor, the same image that that you're watching there, and uh, look, looking for change. Well, I didn't see it, Ron. I'm not sure I saw it either. We have this great view. We don't know what the shepherding spacecraft saw. Well, also we we now have the uh, Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter that will fly over this part of the moon 